Hey guys, my name is Justin with Ready Business Systems and I wanted to thank you for your interest in our services. Uh, in this video, I am going to share with you some of the technology that we use in my landscaping company, 855 RI Lawns, in which I, owe, which I also use to help other landscaping companies get up to speed and automate and market their businesses. So to give you a background on Ready Business Systems and what we can do for you, uh, we, we, we primarily work with uh, Service Autopilot CRM. Uh, we're also working with uh, different CRMs such as Jobber, LMN, so we can give you a little bit of insight on different types of options we have for you, but, but Service Autopilot is our favorite and uh, I'll go through all that, you know, why we, why we choose that. Uh, we also provide Service Autopilot automation, so what we'll do is we'll work with you to build out this feature of your Service Autopilot account, um, which really automates everything, super powerful, we'll cover that. Uh, we do answering systems. Uh, we work with a company called Gusto for payroll. Uh, we can do any custom implementation you'd like. Uh, we work with some marketing software called Sendjim, which I'll show you. Uh, GPS, SEO, we, we provide all sorts of anything that you need to run your business. I currently use to run my business and I can share those solutions with you and connect you with uh, the right people to work with you to get your business up to speed. So to give you a background on uh, Service Autopilot, uh, there's some basic features of it and then there's the automations which really tie things together. Uh, so a lot of people use these basic features which I'll, I'm just going to brush on but you can do the scheduling, you know, invoicing, uh, the CRM obviously, if you're not using a CRM right now you're way behind in the times, you're definitely wasting time. CRMs are just, a, it's customer relationship management but it's so much more than that, it keeps track of you know, names, phone numbers, uh, services and accounts, uh, anything you need to know about your customers in, in one place. Service Autopilot will keep track of reporting and expenses. Eh, so, so with that, it doesn't work that great. You know, you kind of start to learn with Service Autopilot what to use and what not to use. Estimates are awesome and the follow-ups that go with that. Credit card processing, awesome. We always get paid. Cash flow is huge. Right behind profit in terms of importance, you need to get your money fast. With credit card processing, you get it right away. Uh, stay on the go We uh, with a mobile app. Uh, user roles and rights, okay, okay, okay. Anyway, the, they have sign-up feeds for these, just so you know if you don't currently have Service Autopilot. Uh, Ready Business Systems can get you set up for free. So these, uh, these sign-up fees here, they will be waived if you sign up through Ready Business Systems at no expense to you, so keep that in mind. So as a brief walkthrough of Service Autopilot, we have a My Day screen. Um, I, like I said, I'm not that involved with my company, so I don't use the ticketing system that much for myself. That's why all this stuff is past due. But this is the My Day screen. This is what you'll log in and see when you sign up for an account. Uh, you have the CRM menu with uh, you know your estimates, tickets, um, message center, a, a brush on those, a scheduling, dispatching jobs, waiting list. These are the basic features. Accounting. We have invoices, payments, etc. And we have the automations, which is huge, and these forms things here. So those are the biggest features of Service Autopilot. And we have these report, this report center, which is you know it, it, it works well for what you want it for. So anyway, we have time tracking built in here, obviously, for your office staff or whatever, for any payroll. But again, I'm going to focus more on the automations aspect of this stuff. Uh, tickets here, here's just some examples. This is what your ticketing system looks like. A ticket system is really just a to-do list. It's going to give you um, a ticket to assign it to, who you can assign it to, and um, what that entails. And when you click on it, you get more details on it. That's a ticketing system. Where this is most powerful is when it's built into the automation. So the automations will automate all this stuff, automatically generate tickets, we'll brush on that. Uh, this is the message center right here, message center. And this is just text messages, that's all it is. You click each person and these are the messages. Again, the power with this comes from when you automate this into your business and uh, we'll brush on that as well. Here's a quick preview on the client screen. This is what your client window looks like. Um, you have all the, you know, everything you can do with your clients. Uh, you can send right here emails, text messages, again, automations that ties all this together. We have tags. This is mostly for automations, but you can segregate your client list when you want to access people who only have certain services, um, access people. Any way you want to organize your client list, you can filter by these tags. These are currently running services on your accounts. This all ties together from the estimates. So if you write an estimate. Uh, right here uh, and you, you the estimate is accepted you then schedule a job in the client's account and then that goes to the dispatch board to schedule a job i'm not going to brush on all that right now um but you know you have all the upcoming services this is our dummy customer so you can't see too much upcoming we have all the history 
Uh, but you need a general background of how all this stuff works because this is what ties the automations together. So all these basic features are tied together with this feature called the automations. So jumping into the automations, we have, these are all the ones we have running in the 855 RI Lawns account. And these are, I have more robust versions of this, which are available through ready business systems to download through the marketplace when you already have service autopilot. So we have, you know, hiring termination. So we also have, we use the CRM for our job applicants. So we have a job application form on our website, uh, which you can see here on employment. Uh, so we'll have a place where people can fill out a job application down here. And when they fill out this job application form, it will populate them in the system as a lead and tag them for the position they're applying for. So based on the, the questions on the job application, it can disqualify them. It puts them through a series of processes, uh, phone interview, in-person interview, etc. Um, they'll be in your system as, as an account tagged as a job applicant so you can access them at any time uh, to market to them, add notes to them, etc. We also have this customer service automation which will send touch points throughout the year, uh, surveys, uh, marketing, asking them how things are going. So super powerful. We can brush through that. Dispatch automation, this is when jobs are scheduled. Uh, office automation, this is for past due payments on accounts, collecting on accounts. Uh, when new leads come in the system, entering them into the account. So we have a very basic feature that's very valuable is this contact form that comes with Service Autopilot. So when uh, a potential client comes to your website and fills out your contact form, it will enter them as a lead in your system. It will send them correspondence, letting them know you got your estimate request. You don't have to copy the information from your email and enter them as a lead, et cetera, et cetera. They're going to be in your system as a lead, which will then be automated follow-up throughout the year and let you know until you send the estimate, it'll continue to communicate with that lead. We have price increase automations, estimate follow-up. So when you send an estimate, it will continue to follow up with that lead on that estimate until the estimates mark one or lost, which is huge. We also have uh, former client winbacks, uh, employee automations, uh, scheduling social events, meetings, uh, reviews with employees, manager automations. This automates things for the manager, text them, sends a text message when estimates accepted, uh, reminds them that certain things have to, have to happen throughout the year. We have marketing. This goes out all throughout the year, promoting a certain service via text message, email, voicemail bombs. We'll get into that. Uh, all sorts of marketing throughout the year. Equipment, it's everything. Super robust, so I'll give you, this is just a brief overview, but you can see why between having the right people in place and having these automated systems for my landscaping company, why it requires very little time from me. One other thing I didn't brush on is completed work. So this is care instructions for fertilizing, shrub installation, etc. Communication that's sent out when jobs are completed. So just wanted to brush on that stuff. This is opening apparently. That's what comes with this automation subscription. Uh, huge. And when you when you uh, sign up for Service Autopilot, what they're going to do is they're going to uh, give you a blank canvas. And what Ready Business Systems does is we set up that blank canvas with our templates that really get you going very quickly. So we can either help you set up your account, we can set up these outside systems, or we can uh, you know build this automations out for you. This is another service we offer, but it ties together very tightly with the rest of Service Autopilot, and I'll tell you why. So Service Autopilot, like I said, the, the features you can automate within Service Autopilot are text messages, you can automate emails, you can automate tickets, which are the tasks. But what Service Autopilot does not do directly, but what they do do with their integration with Sendjim is now we can do postcards. You can do automated voicemails, and we can mail gifts. So all this uh, ties in with Service Autopilot. It's not directly through Service Autopilot, but a third party which integrates with Service Autopilot so you don't have to worry about, you don't really have to log into Sendjim if you don't want to. You can see everything within Service Autopilot. But anyway, I want to give you an idea of how Sendjim works and the features you need to get out of it. Like I said, this is all my live stuff. Right here we have an estimate follow-up. So in that feature I showed you briefly, if you send a proposal to a customer, typically people in most companies, people will send an estimate, and this is one of the big features I don't see in other CRMs, but when you send an estimate, the software follow up with them. Again, it's not gonna do it on its own when you first buy Service Autopilot, but if you build an automation yourself or purchase one through us, 
We'll set it up so automatically you will follow up on estimates until they're won or lost. We're gonna send out emails. So you send an estimate, it's gonna email the client and say, hey, uh, we sent you an estimate, please uh, review to, to, to start services. We'll keep emailing them, texting them, and we have these voicemail bombs. So these are super powerful. You record this once, it'll automatically go out once you set this up to follow up on estimates. So you can see here, as an example, um, this client was sent this voicemail. I'll let you listen to it for a second. Hi, this is Jim with RI1. I was just touching base to see if you had a chance to take a look at the estimate I prepared for you. If you have any questions, you can reach me at 855-74. So anyway, this is an example of a voicemail bomb. These will go out following up on new estimates sent. Uh, we have these review postcards. So again, once these are built, these go out forever. Uh, it's going to ask when, based on that customer service automation, if people are happy with their services, they can rate the service 1 to 10. If they're happy and they give it 8 or above, it's going to send a postcard asking them to write an online review. So this is hugely powerful. This is all automatic. More estimate follow-ups. We have these postcards that go out, right? This is part of our marketing automation. So we have these postcards that go out for lawn mowing. So during certain times of the year, we'll go out and based on that service, as I showed you on the previous screen, when a job is scheduled and dispatched, when the crew completes the job on their mobile app, it will then send this postcard to the five neighbors. It'll send them a copy of this postcard only during this time of the year. When they complete different services during different times of the years, different times of the year, it's gonna send this postcard to the other neighbors promoting a different service. This is our marketing automation. In addition to that, it can send your entire client base. So if your client base doesn't have a lawn mowing service, but they have a spring cleanup, it can send the postcard to only those people who don't have the lawn mowing service this postcard. So you can see how targeted and powerful this is. It's very, very targeted direct mail. Uh, that's an example there. We have these welcome aboard voicemails. So with our office automation, that's number three, when a new lead converts to a client and they're now uh, part of your company as one of your clients, it can send them a welcome aboard voicemail, just letting them know, thank you for signing up for services, want to reach out, welcome aboard, let us know if you need anything, all automated, super cool stuff. Estimate the follow-ups, welcome aboard, busy this spring. Okay, so these are super cool too. So as part of our customer service automation, you know, in May, June, July, uh, landscaping companies, other industries in the spring are super busy. You do not have time to reach out to your clients, touch base, say, hey, just want to see how things are going. So what this customer service automation does is it will reach out to your clients with this personal voicemail you record it once it takes you 30 seconds and now forever in the springtime you can follow up personally with every one of your customers when the service is completed just let them know hey i've been busy but i want to reach out and see how things are going so that's what that's about super super powerful stuff last sort of follow-up review again i didn't even review this prior to this video i just wanted to give you an idea of like how how cool this stuff is uh, looks like my thing timed out. I'll just give you a, a couple quick other features. So this sorry gummy bears here, what this is is actually is a physical gift. So this is gonna be mailed. So if anyone gives a bad review, if they get below a six, it's gonna obviously notify the manager and the office that they're not happy. It will also, you know, this is all optional. It can be set up however you want, but for my company, it will actually mail them a card that says, we're sorry, you're unhappy, please accept this as a gift. And this will automatically go out to your customers. So again, super cool stuff. I never knew this existed before SendGym. Uh, this was the last one we'll go over here. There's tons more though, but these are um, voicemail bombs again, that voicemail bomb feature. Uh, when we're promoting the mulling, not only do we send out a postcard to our customers that don't have the service, but we can also leave them a voicemail letting them know about the lawn mulling specialist. So they don't miss out on it. So super cool stuff. Moving forward, uh, this is our gardening promotion. This is the form. So again, this is part of our marketing. So we, during in the marketing automation, we're promoting gardening, a gardening special. So we promote that by emails. We're gonna send out the uh, postcards. We're also gonna promote on Facebook. So everything you see here is a service we can provide for your company. So we have our Facebook uh, ads manager here. We have you know, now hiring ads running right now. We have our gardening ads running right now, but that leads to this form. So when they fill this form, again, it's gonna create a ticket for your office, letting you know that John Smith has requested the gardening promo for this time period. So just super cool stuff, these forms. I didn't, I didn't brush on these forms, but this all integrates across different technologies throughout the web. So this is the marketplace, uh, jumping around a bit. Here we have all the automations we can download. So um, when we work with you, if you choose to work, we, we will talk to you on a weekly, bi-weekly or monthly basis. 
And what we'll do is we'll start this. Here's an example of a, a Trello board. It's a way to stay organized. But each week we're gonna work on something for you in the background. So you're gonna say on the meeting notes, we're gonna talk about what you would like to get done and built out. And then we will then assign these projects to this week's projects and my team or myself will go in and build this stuff out for you. On the meeting notes, we'll then uh, go over what we built for you. And then we'll, we'll talk about what you want for to work on in the future. So just give you an idea, this is how we work together on a weekly, monthly, bi-weekly basis. And we'll build out these projects for you. So what we'll do is once we get to, and this client in particular, we're just starting to build, set up their system for them. But once we get it set up for them, we're then gonna start to download these automations into their account. So these are all uh, generic templates. We'll download them into your account and then we'll customize them each week and explain to you how they work, what to expect, and get your company up to speed. Once we install them for you, you own them. So, you know, you can feel free to reach out to us, but once we're done working together, you now own these automations and you continue to use them. So we're gonna build out this blank canvas of Service Autoply to work with your company. We have uh, just a breakdown of all these different automations and what they do. So if you're interested, check out our website, readybusinesssystems.com. We have tons of information on here. Uh, we're going to explain to you uh, what each one of these automations can do in your company. Uh, there's more details there. One thing I did not brush on as well is this message center. I didn't dig in here, but I totally wanted to dig in here because this gives you a really good overview of how these things work. So like I said, all the features I initially showed you, they they can be automated. So I'm gonna go through a handful of these text messages. It's a good place to see like general activity. I'm gonna show you what's going on. Anything that's uh, sent with a question mark, these are the automations. These are automatically sent out. So what these automations do is it's very difficult to make your staff do things and remind them to get things done and be proactive. That's what I was looking for. It's hard to get your staff to be proactive, but to be reactive, if the if the phone rings, they, they have to answer it. You know, they're not gonna not answer the phone, but to get them to reach out and call people, you know, cold call people is a lot harder than getting people to answer the phone. So if you can get the phone to ring, is what these automations do, it's then going to get them to do something automatically. So they just have to be reactive, reactive, reactive. Uh, with the company events, for example, if you text all of your employees and say, hey, we're having a company event uh, last Friday this month, they have no choice but to, you know, the employees are going to ask the manager, hey, what's going on? Do we have a barbecue at the end of this month? So the manager has to be like, uh, yeah, yeah, we have a barbecue. So that's how this stuff works. It forces your employees to be react. So this one's an example. Uh, your proposal has been emailed. So when you send an estimate, this is going to go out, right? We're going to notify the customer via text message as part of the estimate follow-up RBS01 that a text message was sent and, uh, you know, check your email for the proposal. Uh, right here, the client must have accepted the proposal on their end. It's welcome them aboard, board, letting them know we need their credit card, they're calling the other credit card on file. This lets them know the services were scheduled. And this here, they must have accepted another proposal. This guy is not going to respond to his text messages. Perfect example. Um, thank you for your proposal. Very good. So um, they responded to this automated message. And then what she did, we have an option in there. When a person accepts a proposal, they can then give, or excuse me, when they send a proposal, they can say basically, I'm not ready yet. Please get back to me in 10 days and 30 days, remind me. So when she must have clicked a link in there, respond to a text message saying she was not ready, but thank you for the proposal. So she automatically gets this text message letting her know, thank you for keeping us up to the status. We'll touch base in a month. So she basically said, I'm not sure yet. Follow up with me in a month. So this automated message went out. It's then going to create a ticket for our staff to follow up with her on that proposal. Here's a dispatch one. This is our dispatch automation. So this is just letting them know that a mulch or weeding visit. So this is based on the service that they accept. So when the service is created and we dispatch it to the crew, they're gonna be notified automatically by a text message that we're coming out on the week of to their address to do the work. And this helps us with cancellations. This stops us from showing up to a job and the person saying, oh, I didn't know you were coming. So this is huge feature, obviously. This guy has more, more follow-ups going on. Here's a, your card has been expired. Please give us a call to update. So this is an automation. Uh, this guy was getting his card declined quite a bit. He will get reminders as well. Here's one, here's an estimate follow-up. So the proposal's emailed. Here's another follow-up text message. So you sent it three days later. Uh, we're, we're waiting for you to approve your estimate. Here's the example of the follow-up. He has these options for next month, next spring. And that's where that delay is for following up on the estimates. I'll go to some other examples here. Here's dispatch automations, a gardening visit, more estimate follow-ups. I'm just trying to find some different examples here. Uh, here's more estimate follow-ups. 
Uh, here's an example. This one specifically came in with one of those promotions with our lawn mowing promotion. So as you can see, by them filling out that form, they automatically got a text message saying, thank you for requesting a quote on our mowing service. So they know, and we're going to have a ticket that this person requested a quote on the lawn mowing special. So this is huge as well. As you can see, it's very streamlined, automated. This is how we're able to run such a lean business. And I'm not going to cover everything, but here's one last example. This is a job applicant that I brushed on. So you can see, thank you for applying for a job at 855 Hour Lawns. We invite, we'd like to invite you to call in for a phone interview. So they're instructed to come in, call for a phone interview. Once they do, we fill out a phone interview form and they go through this whole process. So anyway, there's a ton more to this stuff. I'm not gonna cover everything. This video is already long enough, but I wanna give you an idea of how all this stuff works, how powerful this stuff is. If you need help with anything else, uh, like I said, we provide a lot more services. So on our website, you can see tons of stuff. We have a phone system. So you know, if you ever get tired of calls going to your personal cell, eventually you get sick of that, depending on you know what size company you are. Maybe you're a one-man operation, you don't care. But eventually you're gonna to wanna to control that and know when your calls are gonna come in have the whole dial by name directory, very professional answering, you know, professional recorded, well, you know, sounds like a big corporation. Welcome to R55, thank you for calling 855R at Lawns. Please press one for this, two for this, hold music, hold nine yards. We use the Gusto, you know, I, I talked about the payroll, uh, SendGym, uh, GPS, landscaping, SEO service. We also do websites. Uh, we also write, do blog writing for SEO, you know, we'll do all that stuff. Facebook, anything you need for your business, we can get those services for you or send you in the right direction. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Feel free to browse the website or reach out. Um, let us know if we can help you with anything with your business. And um, I wish you luck and I hope to talk to you soon.